slide 163, lesson 8, verb stems, the nafal, the simple passive ref or reflexive verb stem. The nafal stem is the simple action with either passive or reflexive voice. So, the nafal stem is the passive or reflexive version of the simple kal verb stem. So if we take the kal verb katal, which means he killed, and we convert it to a nafal by adding the nun, we get niktal, niktal, which means he was killed. So that's the passive voice here. He was killed. Now we can have a look at another example. The word shema, which means he heard. We change it into nafal. It becomes nishma by adding the nun. Nishma, which means either he heard himself or he was heard. So uh, sometimes the nafal can be either reflexive or passive and just depends on the context of the verse. Both the reflexive and the passive are spelled the same way. So nishma can mean he heard himself, that's a reflexive, or he was heard. So the same spelling for both meanings, context of verse determines which meaning is the correct one. So the identifying characteristic of the nafal stem is the nun prefix. We have the nun here with the herrick here. So let's have a look at some examples from scripture. First example, Madan Nishma Nachrat Susayev. The snorting of his horses was heard, Nishma, from Dan. And literally, uh, from Dan was heard, Madan Nishma Nachrat Susayev. The snorting, Nachrat, of Susayev. His horses, Susa's horse, Susi is my horse, Susayev is his horses. Medan Nishma Nachrat Susayev. From Dan was heard the snorting of his horses. So, this is how we say was. Nishma was heard. Nishma. That's a 3ms version of the verb. Ki nishbaru lifne Yahweh. Ki nishbaru lifne Yahweh. For they were destroyed before the Lord. Nishbaru, destroyed or broken to pieces, smashed to pieces. Ki nishbaru lifne Yahweh. For they were destroyed were destroyed, so it's passive voice, denoting past tense, and something that happened to them, not something that they did. So that's the third person common plural, Nishbaru. Okay, another example. Here's the word for to hide, Sitar, and it's changed to Nistara, Nistara. My way is hid from the Lord. You could actually say my way was hid. But it's translated is hid. Nistara is hid from the Lord. Nistara. Derachi. My way. Derek is way. Derachi is my way. Me Yahweh. From the Lord. And that's the third person feminine singular. Nistara. Okay, the last example, and this one is a uh, imperfect 
and uh, we'll have a look at the imperfect verb chart at the end of this lesson, this first part of the lesson. That his name, U Shimo, may uh, be no more remembered. Lo Yizakia Od. So that's how we would. S this is the Niffle version of the imperfect. The uh, imperfects are a little less easy to recognise straight off. The perfect uh, verb stems are much easier to recognise when they're changed into uh, niffle. So that's the imperfect 3ms. So that's all for the nifal stem. Slide 164, lesson 8, verb stems, the nifal, the simple passive or reflexive verb stem. Let's just have a look at a table and compare the kal with the nifal just briefly. So the kal is the active, the simple active verb stem and we have the verb shema, he guarded, in the kal and that becomes Nishmar, he was guarded, and uh, that's the passive uh, nifal meaning, and it can also have a reflexive meaning, he guarded himself, or she guarded herself, Nishmara. So here we have Shema becomes Nishma, he guarded becomes he was guarded, Shamra, she guarded, becomes Nishmara, she was guarded. Shamata, you guarded, becomes Nishmata, you were guarded. Shamat, you guarded to a group of women, to, to a woman, becomes Nishmata, you were guarded. Shamati, I guarded, becomes Nishmati, I was guarded. So we can just see that the uh, tent, the, the uh, uh, voice has changed here. So the basic identification uh, uh, clue to a nifal is it has a nun prefix here. And that's all for the nifal comparison table. Slide 165, lesson 8, verb stems. Payal, the intensive active verb stem. The Payal stem is the intensive form of the simple action of the Kal stem. Intensive type action with an active voice. So the verb, the Kal verb, Katal, he killed becomes Ketel, he slaughtered, so it's an intensive, an intensive or a form of the simple action of the Karl stem. Another example, Shava, he broke, Shava, he broke becomes Shabir, he smashed to pieces, Shabir, he smashed to pieces. Notice the uh, vowels, uh, just the same as here. So the basic identifying characteristic of the pile stem, the vowel pattern Herak or Patach under the first radical, first uh, um, letter of the verb and a daggish forte in the second radical so we've got an intensification so instead of a, 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 a soft sound shava it becomes a hard sound shabir uh, which makes sense it's it's an intensive it's a harder thing it's a um, it's smashed is a harder stronger word than broke 
So we even have a stronger sound. Shavar becomes Shabir. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. The it call its hasaday Shabir. The it call its hasaday Shabir. And break Shabir every tree of the field. Call its hasaday. Its means tree. Hasaday means field. And call means all or every. And every tree of the field is broken or break. And break every tree of the field. Exodus 9.25. That's the third MS version. Let's have a look at another example. Ki shalachti alechem et ha mitzvah. Hazot ki shalachti alechem et ha mitzvah hazot. That this word here ki means either as or like. Well, in this case, they've translated it that. I have sent shalachti this commandment unto you. Ki shalachti alechem et a mitzvah hazot. So that's the first person common singular. Okay, another example. Bekashti et sha'ahava nafshi. Bekashti et sha'ahava nafshi. I sought him whom my soul loveth. Bekashti, I sought, it sha'ahava, that which loves nafshi, my soul. Bekashti, it sha'ahava, nafshi. I sought that which loves my soul. I sought him whom my soul loveth. And that's a first person common singular again. And now a imperfect uh, example. Ki yadabru alecha tavot. Ki yadabru alecha tavot. Though they speak fair words unto thee, speak yadabru, fair words to thee. So that's a third person com plural imperfect. So again, notice the patterns here. We have a herrick in the first radical and a uh, dugish forte, a, a dot in the second radical, or second letter of the three letter verb. Okay.